Right, we're going to play a game of rapid chess. This will be 10 minutes each, so up to 20 minutes long. So 1726, good luck. We've not played before, no head to head score. What am I on? 508 games of rapid I've done now. Opponent nearly 2,000, well, 1,800 and a bit, so that's very good. Do I want to go London style this game? Yeah, let's do it. You can go here sometime, of course, just in case your opponent plays too quickly and blunders, but it is rapid chess. So I'm just going to try and get developed in castle, keep it simple. Again, you can play knight up and go for a quick attack as well. Will he actually take here? If he does, he opens the file, a potential attack. We still probably find a castle king side, but now we're probably going to aim to put the bishop on this diagonal if we can. Okay, I think I'm going to play c3 here. This is double guarded anyway, but I'm going to try and release the queen and the bishop up this way. Okay, he's launched one. So here, down, I could take... I've got knight up here first, it's whether I can go for something like this. Idea knight up, bishop back maybe. Yeah, I'm going to break the pin. If he takes, he takes. I'll take back with a pawn, of course. He's clearly going all in this game. But there is a basic, simple concept of a threat on the board. Oh, and he's allowed it. Okay. Knight up hits the knight. If you guard it, though, potentially I just win a bishop. If you take back, I win the rook. So he probably got to play a bishop back and allow knight takes, queen takes, bishop up ideas. I'm going to do it then. So bishop back I think is the best move here for black and then we can get rid of that annoying bishop. If you play like I say a queen up it does actually hang the bishop. But you should see that, my opponent should be strong enough to see that. So we can potentially trade knight for bishop now. If we don't then we actually blunder. So we'll take... It's so whether I do bishop up or just develop here. I think I like the idea of just developing my knight and then maybe the bishop. Obviously he might play a six or so we'll save that tempo there. Here, here, I'm not sure I'd want to take. But I'm aiming bishop here, but obviously you might run into some sort of issue at some point. So we could consider this. We can drop the queen back. Might actually still castle king's side, so I'm debating whether to do this and this then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go here for now. My idea is preparing a move like g4 should he castle, but I probably want the queen back over just to put pressure on this diagonal. Prepares casting, but again, I'm, I may just castle king's side, I'm not sure. We've got lots of potential ideas here. Yeah, he's gone there now. So obviously bishop up would actually still be a move because of the um, rook not being guarded, but I don't think I want to do this. Mm. Knight across restricts my queen, and the queen might suddenly get trapped. I mean, it's actually a square, but you're threatening to jump in. Actually, what's wrong with a move like e4 here, trying to push forward? Takes knight here. That looks good, actually, doesn't it? I'm going to do that. Might not get another chance to. Maybe there's a move like bishop down, but I think we can drop the queen back. Or we can just play e5, allow him to take. But we gain a lot more space. If he takes, the knight comes up with a threat to jump over. It's got to be a little bit careful. Normally I like to castle early in games. Think of king's safety first. One of the principles of chess. So this might be a little bit too adventurous. It might be. But obviously if I castle right now, you can see that pawn is just going to fly straight forward. If I go this way, these are going to fly straight forward. If he ignores this, I'm probably going to push, and that's what he's done. So I like the idea of pushing on here to gain that little bit of space. Do I play a move like bishop up though? Takes, pawn takes. No, I don't like that just as a concept. Here? Actually... If I push on there, do I just simply blunder the pawn with takes? I do, don't I? I do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to drop the queen back, hit this pawn, see how he defends it, or if he defends it, and then I'm just going to come back here. But now I am threatening to push on. If I'd have pushed on there, knight takes was a move, because my queen was unguarded, so he has launched it. So now we can potentially play a bishop here, with a view to threatening to take and win a pawn. That looks stronger to me now. 
And if a move like knight down, I think I can just drop back. We still cover the knight jump again, but we are threatening to actually win a pawn. Let's see, if he takes, I'll probably take with a knight, but we'll have to think about it a little bit, but probably take with the knight. Then we're threatening to jump across and hit the queen, and there's a potential check here if the bishop wanders on. If I take with a bishop, I think it feels like he's basically okay so probably the knight okay he's pushed forward okay i think i can simply take here then but is it a mistake because takes i think i just take back then a move like rook across a drop back i could do this but it feels like i need to try and take my chance i could even take back with a queen if he takes, I could take with a queen, and then just sidestep if he throws a check in, and then we're hitting the knight. So he has jumped across. So can I actually just grab a pawn here? Well, there's one there I could take, but I'm looking at this idea as well. So gain a pawn, lose a queen, gain a queen, lose a pawn, and gain a knight. So gain a pawn looks to be a move. If he takes with check, I simply take back with check. You take here, and I can take this one if I want to, albeit. This is loose. The rook would be loose. So I think I can take here, but am I blundering something really, really silly? I did this a few games ago, and I blundered some sort of queen check, and I got rather lucky that game will be coming up shortly. Um, I think I can do this and let that hang. Queen across. It's a natural pin. Maybe I can then just take... I mean, obviously I can just take now, but gain a pawn, queen across, gain a pawn, queen takes, then I can take with check, you take back, I can take. If you crash through here, I take the knight. But it could easily go wrong this, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to leave this hang. If he just takes the queen, I simply take with check and then I win the knight as well. So I'm expecting him to go here, but then obviously my queen is then actually hanging. But there is also a threat to the rook. So we could take the pawn, we could play a move like queen up. Then of course he could take back with a check. So here, queen check. I think I just simply sidestep and look to manually castle. Oh, he's gone for it. I think that just wins a piece for me. Now I could take with a pawn or with the knight. I think I like the idea of taking with a pawn. Then I can take back this way as well. So castling is not quite so critical now that the queen's off the board. Okay, so he's gone there. So do I want to come here? That's the idea I'm looking at now. Going here feels a bit long-winded. So I'm going to go this way. We've got a natural square. Everything seems okay. Bishop down, the knight's guarded. We'll take back. Bishop down, I'll just simply take. Rook across. Should be good here. Be interesting to see what the engine says afterwards. Um, pawn up, I don't think, is a move. I think you just push on. Bishop here, you can take because the um, bishop guards the rook. So rook across is natural here. It'll probably double up. We just trade a set of rooks. And that seems good to me. If he takes, obviously I'll take back. We're up a piece and a pawn, aren't we? We're up a knight, but we're also up a pawn. Now, check again isn't a move there, I don't think. So just take two, three, four, five, six pawns. So we've got an extra pawn and we've got an extra knight. So knight here creates an immediate threat as well as closing the file. So that's my candidate move. I don't see any reason to look at anything else. We just create an obvious threat. <coughs> Excuse me, the rook's also trying to guard the pawn. I suspect the engine review after the game will say our accuracy is not quite so good this game. I suspect that, but we'll check that afterwards. Obviously, black will ideally want to keep the rook guard in this pawn, but we might be able to simply take anywhere. 
that if Rook takes back, we've still got the Knight check. So it might be that we can take the pawn next move, but I don't want to do anything too overly risky, but I'll see what black does. Yeah, Rook's gone right across. So we can take a pawn, lose a pawn, and we still get the same check and win the Rook. If we take and you take, I've still got the check. Now, your King can't go on the light square. You could step forward. I can gain the pawn, and I'm definitely not getting trapped. So it seems like another pawn to me, so I'm going to take it. If you go here, like I say, I've still got a check. If you take, I've got the same check. I can almost pre-move that as a next move, but that would be... A bit silly to pre-move there. Okay, it does take. So we will check. I will pre-move this one though, just to take the rook back. And now my knight's definitely got squares to come back to. So launches forward. But does it matter where I go? I think I'm going to go here so I can come back towards the middle. But also blockade this pawn. So just got to pay attention to any potential breaks, but I think I'm all right here. Yeah, my opponent just resigned, so we put this one through the analyzer. Pause first so I don't accidentally start another game. Request an analysis. Just takes a few seconds to populate. I suspect the accuracy won't be too great this game. But let's just see. How many moves did we do? 28 moves we've done. Queen's Pawn Game Chigorin variation is the opening. If you click on that, it'll bring up some of the puzzles you can do in that line that you can have a play about with. Oh, we've actually played it really well. 97%. And it's Sendy Pawn loss of only 12. The lower on that, the better. I don't know exactly too much about the Sendy Pawn loss, but basically the lower that figure is, the better. And just the one blunder by my opponent, 81% accuracy, uh, although a higher Sendy Pawn loss. And the blunder the engine is seen as B4, so you can see the game was really close here. You can click anywhere on the timeline to see where that is. Now we've just got a mistake with B4. And it goes from 0.2 to plus 0.39 there. You can also turn the engine on there as well. And sometimes they do change and then you can see what the engine actually says. So what did I do here? I did take the pawn. It was the best move. The pawn played knight out wide. Should have taken back a corn to the engine. So it should have been e takes d5. Yeah, queen takes was the right line, not the bishop takes there. Queen trades, king up, grab the f pawn, knight back, develop the knight. Ooh. I don't think I'd have played king e2 there. That feels a little bit risky, doesn't it? That's what the engine is saying this line should have been. Throw in a knight check. You can take your time, depending on what time you've got, of course. But that's what the engine has suggested there. Otherwise, we've actually played a very good game. So a good win. Excellent.